Well, today, today we're leaving Italy. Frank, my boy, you've asked me and I've answered to give you an exciting challenge. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna tell you though, it's a bit death-defying. It could possibly end you on this earth, unalive you as the young folks say today. But uh, all I can tell you is your flight leaves at 1.10 p.m. from Bari Bari, or however you pronounce that stupid airport. So I'd recommend get there a little bit early, check your bag that I've bought for you, have fun with this adventure. Sorry, there is a connecting flight through Munchen, but uh, it is not in Germany. Let's get going. <laughs> Strangest elevator. So the only thing I'm kind of concerned about is not necessarily where I'm heading. Couldn't care less about where I'm heading, as long as it's not Russia or Ukraine. But the only thing is, you have to first know Stuart. He's an extremely outdoorsy person who's training full Iron Marathon. He's been to Patagonia. He loves to hike. He loves to run. He loves to swim. We got a few hours before our flight, so let's just get to the airport and figure out where we're heading first, and then complete whatever challenge he's giving us. Ciao. Where is my final destination? Where is it? Okay. No, because my friend booked it. And then uh, I don't know where I'm going. He just booked it for me. So, yeah, so I gotta go to and then do a challenge. We'll see. Munich and then. Okay, thank you. Alright, I'm going. Alright, does have any crazy hikes? We'll find out. Alright, so Stuart just sent me another video, so let's take a look what he has to say. Frank, my boy, so how's it going? So, your challenge, whether you choose to accept it, is something pretty dangerous. You know, at first I was like, why didn't he go liberate Moropol or from the Russians? But I was like, you know, I want something that's a little bit more complex in nature. Your challenge is, you're going to Lisbon, Portugal, and you're going to go to Nazare, which is where the biggest waves in the world are. All you have to do is catch a wave. It's not that hard. They're only like 80 feet, 100 feet tall, so. Best of luck, my friends. Don't die. Is he having a laugh? I mean, you've seen it. The last time I got in the water, this is what happened. So up it goes. Open, that's why the water is getting in there. Munich. See you later. Just never ends well. Just short. Good morning. So this is Nazar Portugal. I just got here. So the goal today was to actually So the goal today was actually to get a surfing lesson in the morning. But there was nothing. But I heard there's going to be a 2 p.m. surfing lesson. So now that's my objective. I do need to complete the dogs everywhere. What do you want? There's a reason why dogs don't bark at Koreans. Anyway, back to the point. So, Stuart gave me the challenge to complete surfing here in Nazare. And uh, obviously I'm not going to be able to do a 100 footer or 86 for that matter. Therefore, my goal is to complete surfing. That's number one. But number two, just the best I can. Am I nervous? Absolutely I am. It would be so wrong if I wasn't. But you gotta seek discomfort, right? Right, Vanessa from Toronto. Hello. Hello. Alright, quick question. Do you think I can surf in Nazare? I think you look well balanced and um you know, I think you can do it. Alright, give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the time has come. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not raining. Yeah, should be exciting. Let's get going. Frank, Hello. nice to meet you. What was your name? Annalena. Annalena, nice to meet you. Frank. Frank. What was Frank. yours? Fabio. Fabio, Frank. Hi, nice to meet Antonia. you. Hi, hi. Have you surfed before? Uh, one Come time. Once? One lesson. Okay. Have you surfed before? Once. Once? Yeah. You? Never. <laughs> Let's 
So how long does it take for someone to like paddle and stand? Uh, it always depends a, a lot. A, a day of practice, you think? <laughs> you, someone like, who's athletic. Athletic yeah. and you, you have like balance. Probably at your like first, second lesson. Okay. Because the biggest one was like 86, wasn't it? 86 feet, foot. Uh, a 10 store building. Yeah, like yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Massive, yeah. It's like if you are sitting on the cliff, yeah. when the wave breaks, you can like feel the, the ground shake wow. with the power of the wave. Wow. Fucking get it! 